guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mario, also known as Soul Style Beauty, and I might look a little bit different. I got my hair braided, y'all. And that's new because, you know, I usually stick to the bundles, but I'm changing it up a little bit more frequently. So yeah, I have some braids. Um, I recently graduated yesterday. I'm gonna insert a few pictures. So I just wanted to do something different, and I am not a person of change, but I've just been trying to push myself to try, you know, different things. But Today is actually going to be a review video. If you've been looking out in the beauty, you know, world, you know that Minta came out with three loose setting powders and they actually come in three shades. So it comes in like tan, medium deep, and deep rich. So we're going to review these setting powders today and we're going to see what they're all about. You guys know I'm always into trying Minta products because there's a lot of products that I really love and enjoy from them and to put the cherry on top. They are a black owned brand. Let's get into this review. Alright, so I'm starting off this tutorial slash try on with zero makeup. And I'm actually going to go in with the Minted Skin Foundation Stick. It's been a minute since I've used this to be honest. I've been reaching a lot more for my Fenty. Only because I know that this is going to be a little bit darker than my normal shades. Only because I got this in the summertime. And now that we're transitioning to fall, I'm like, uh... Let me try to use like, you know, something that might work a little bit better, but I absolutely love the finish on this foundation. So yeah. Blended. by the way y'all this is like a everyday type of look I'm not gonna do anything extra because I just really want to focus on the setting powder um, but I'm gonna go in with my concealer now let me just go and grab it okay so I've been using oh I have powder in my hand I've been using um, the Fenty Beauty concealer I really like this concealer um, yeah I've been using this for a minute so and I know in the summertime I did mix this concealer with this foundation and it worked very well. So I'm going to do the same thing in this video. Back to these setting powders. Each setting powder retails for $25. This brush is broke and I'm just, I'm over it. Y'all, every time I do a tutorial with this brush, it's falling apart. I need to get a new one. But anyways, um, the setting powder is $25. I don't feel like that's a really bad price for a setting powder. Usually all the setting powders that I own, such as Fenty or the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which I love for all over setting powder, usually cost me around the same price. As far as what I look for in a setting powder, of course I do not want it to be blotchy. Like I hate it to be like blotchy. Mm -hmm. I hate it looking cakey. Um, so yeah, when I look for setting powders, I want to make sure that the finish is very natural, that it's smooth. It just makes everything, you know, come together. That's what I pretty much look like, uh, look for in a setting powder. So Minted promises the same thing, a very natural, see this brush is on the bar, a very natural looking non-cakey formula. So I'm excited to try it, knowing that that's exactly what I look for when it comes to setting powder. So right off the bat, I'm going to go in with a powder that's more so for highlighting. And I think the powder that best fits this is in the shade Light Tan. Um, so I'm just going to pour out a little bit. And getting ready to apply to only the areas that I highlighted. And we're going to see how this works. This is the brush, by the way, that it came with. So, this is not the brush that I previously owned. This is their powder brush. Personally, like, I don't really like the brush to apply the powder. I'm going to get my small beauty blender and let's see how that's working out. So, be right back. Alright, so I have like a beauty blender and I'm going to try to apply this powder as I would my, you know, setting powder for like my highlighted areas. So. So 
I look, I might look a tad bit cray for now, but this is exactly how I apply my setting powders, like usually on a day to day. So I like it better with a beauty blender rather than a powder brush. I feel like this would be perfect for like, you know, the all over face, which I'm going to try that for. Um, but as far as like putting it on your highlighted area, this brush won't work. Um, so yeah, we're going to see how this sets. I'm going to go in with my, I'm going to go in with a bronzer and I'm going to try the minted not try because obviously I, I tried this before I'm gonna put on the season 2 bronzer by Minted as well okay. I'm gonna go back in with this light tan powder so I'm doing the same steps that I would do with like my everyday powder that I use when it comes to like my highlighting. So, so far this looks really good I didn't dust it away yet but it doesn't seem patchy which is like my number one like like I cringe like when powders are like really patchy so ew. it's not doing that thank god so I'm gonna just continue to go in with my bronzer right now um, I'm gonna let this sit for like one more minute and then we're gonna dust it away and see how this look turned out and I'm gonna use one of these powders for my all over face powder so BRB all right so now that I let this sit for a little while I'm gonna dust this off let's pray that it does not look great let's see let's see powder's not looking cakey it's leaving a little bit of a white cast but nothing that can't be um taken away with you know setting spray i feel like even my other setting powders do the same thing where they leave a little bit of cast but once you use that setting spray it just you know brings everything together so let's see okay let that dry. All right, y'all. So the finish is non cakey, <laughs> non blotchy. It doesn't look drying on to, on the skin, so that looks good. It's looking good. I have no complaints so far. So I'm gonna go in with a blush, also minted. Y'all know me. This is like one of my favorite blushes only because like you don't you can skip a highlighter when it comes to this blush because it has shimmer in it so gold reflex so it looks beautiful on the skin y'all beautiful alright lastly I'm gonna use one of these setting powders for all over setting it's all over my face I'm gonna see how this looks in a small spot before I play myself this one is in the shade medium deep so I want to see how this looks before I play myself and it looks crazy because nobody likes oily islands. I know I don't. So y'all, this looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I'm not mad at the finish. I feel like my skin looks very natural. I'm still getting my highlighted areas, which is like, 
Y'all know I love me a highlight, like a highlighted concealer. I don't like my face looking like one shade, you know? So I always love a nice highlight, um, even on a day-to-day. -day. So when I do wear makeup. So it's looking good. Last day I want to go in with one of my favorite glosses. <gasps> Today's not my day. This is a NYX gloss in the shade Tiramisu. I love this for like a day-to-day -day lip gloss. And it's cheap, y'all. It's only like $5, so get it at Ulta, get it at Rite Aid, you know, the drugstore, but it's literally $5. So this completed my natural look um, using mostly minted products and their new loose setting powder. So like I said, I think that they're actually worth the $25. They're non-blotchy, they look natural, non-cakey, and I feel like it comes in a variety of shades. So like the light tan was able to Still show up as like the highlighted areas and then the overall face powder was like the perfect shade for my skin tone as well um so i definitely recommend it i think it's worth the 25 dollars and yeah so if you guys have any more questions be sure to leave them down below and i will see you in my next video bye guys